Hey, hey folks, Steve here. Track saws. Let's let's get to it. My Dewalt track saw. And what I have found is uh, I've used a few different types of track saws, and I am very comfortable with this one. It is mine because I have all the Dewalt battery stuff. So I'm really happy with this one, but I'm happy with any track saw because of what they do, and it is the tool when you need it, you need it, kind of a thing, breaking down plywood, long sheet goods, everything else. So what about the tracks? Well, this is the short track, and the short track for DeWalt is exactly, if you're wondering, 46 inches, and I just went ahead and moved that in. The medium track is exactly, well, just slightly over 59 inches, 59 and an eighth. And the long track is exactly, one oh two and seven sixteenths. All right, well, there you have it, folks. Um, the three different tracks. Uh, fortunately, I was a. I fortunately I have been able to afford all three tracks. I did not buy them all at the same time. Nor when I bought my track saw, the, did I buy it in the kit. I went a la carte. I couldn't find the kit that I exactly wanted. The things in the kits that were offered at the time were things that I already had: various chargers or or whatever or smaller batteries. I wanted a nine amp hour battery, not a six. I wanted a fast charger, not a regular charger. I wanted whatever track was included that's not the track that i wanted to start with i wanted to start with something more matter of fact i know i needed to have the long track that i just showed you the 102 track because i was cutting deck boards on a dock and it was such a long expanse that i wanted to make sure that that cut was as straight as possible because it would show up because there was and then an outer uh frame detail that would highlight any miscut any angle cut it would be just it would broadcast it. So I wanted the long one. So that's what I started with. I got the track saw independent. Uh, I bought a fast charger, bought a nine amp hour battery, and I got the, the well, it, because it's in front of me, I have the long track. After that, then I realized, well, that long track is not real practical if you want to break down some other things. And so then I looked at the short track and the short track was like $60 at the time, that uh, 46 or whatever that is. Um, and that great, you know. Um, so then I got that one. Uh, and then eventually for 100 ish, I, I can't remember the prices. Uh, then eventually I filled out the complement and got the middle track. And I love all three. They all have their uses. Uh, you could get away with just one, but if I only had just one, I think I would have that long one uh, because I, I think there's going to be a lot more issue if you have a short track and you have to move it incrementally in order to get a long straight cut than if you have a long track that's just very inconvenient making a shortcut. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, that's what I would do. But fortunately, uh, I was able to build the cost of the initial my a la carte kit into the job that I was doing with this big dock. It was like a fifteen twenty thousand dollar application. So I squeezed that in there as part of the profit, and that's how I ended up getting it. Um, can't say enough about track saws. I you know it's can't say enough about it. Before I did this, I actually had made, I think Ron Paul had one, and I double-checked some other, other sites as well. I just made one, uh, made a track out of plywood, basically a saw guide that worked with my... This is my DeWalt, and it's the six and a half inch. Uh, yeah, six and a half inch blade saw. Um, and so I, I made a track that, that worked with that one. So effectively, I had a track saw, and I had a couple of different sizes. I think maybe I had a two-foot or, you know, maybe like a 30 inch and a 60 inch or something like that. And it was just made out of two pieces of plywood uh, where it would be uh, the guide. And then I could clamp it down and then just run it through. And that worked pretty well. Uh, but when I was able to step up to the track saw, then I was just, you know, that better, that much better. Uh, because of the tools. So uh, there you go, track saw stuff. I, there, I've there i had a lot of questions about, hey, how long is that track? And I've, I've forgotten uh, exactly how long these things are. I always said that that other one was, well, it's under 50. The other one is under 60, and this one is a little over 100. Well, you know, if you're looking for precision, that is not precise. That is approximation. And so now we have precision, and so that's it. I would have loved, I think it's the Makita track, because it's like 118 inches or whatever. 
And so I thought, well, I'd be restricted because this thing is just longer than an eight foot sheet. And so is it going to be restricted for cutting eight foot sheet goods? No, it's not. 102 inches is plenty because the track saw is a plunge, uh, plunge saw. And you can be at the end of your track and you can be a little off your track, you know, just a little bit behind your track, a little bit with the blade. And when you plunge in, no problem there at all. And likewise with the 46 inch, you know, my question would be why not 50 inch? Why, you know, either make it like a really small one, like a 30 inch, and then like have four sizes, a 30 inch, a 50 inch, a, a, you know, a 65 inch, and then, you know, then this 102, maybe 108 inch. Uh, if I were designing them, that's, those are the ones, but I'm sure they had a lot of science and a lot of measurement and a lot of contractors weighing in on exactly why. But the Makita has that really long track. And I thought, well, but unfortunately, the DeWalt saw does not work on the Makita track, and so I don't have a Makita track. Um, I know the Festool does, so you could do, you know, like a Festool Makita combination. I think don't don't go buy it because I just said that, but I think that there's some cross pollination there. Um, but happy with what I've got, and uh, you know, so, well, you know, what do you have, and what are your experiences with your track saws? Uh, be it uh, you have the you know just a regular circular and you've made your own track system and it's working or not and you have this color that color the whatever track saw and those tracks and they are really working fantastic or man that short one is just a waste of time or that short one is the golden track that you absolutely have to have what do you uh, what do you want to tell you know tell me I'd, be, I'd love to and anybody watching this uh, particular video may be very interested in what you have to say about your particular saw because uh, it's these things guide my purchases they really do and these purchases sometimes are hundreds of dollars and so uh, you know I'll do my own research but I, I love to hear comments from you and I want, love to watch videos from you and I steal these ideas and I figure out if it's going to work for me and if it's right for the money right okay hey thanks a lot take care